Hi guys, in today's video I thought I would share with you a cool hack that you could do with those old blinds that you're going to put away. So stick around and let's get started. So guys, to start off this project, first of all you need to take the slates off your blinds. Here you see me taking the slates off an old blind which I've already got in hand. Afterwards, once you're done taking the required amount of slates, the next step is to measure it and then cut it. Here you see me measuring my slates before I go ahead and cut it. Afterwards, I went ahead and put on my safety gear before I start cutting and then I cut all of my slates to the required length for my projects. Now I'm done with all of my cutting and now it's time to start on our projects. Project number one, artwork display. So simple and easy to do. So to get started with this project, all you need is four long slates cut out to any length. Next, you will need four shorter slates cut out to the width of your slate. You will see what I mean as we go along. Afterwards, using my Gorilla wood glue, I glued two of my slates together and then repeated this same process with the remaining two slates. Next, I took my shorter slate and then glued it onto my longer slates attaching it together. I repeated the process of gluing the shorter slates on both sides of my longer slates. Afterwards, I placed some weights on it and set it aside to dry. Couple of minutes later, my board is all dry and this is how it turned out. Afterwards, I took an old rag and wiped off all of the excess glue. Afterwards, I went ahead and screwed in these pipe saddle clips which I already got in hand on either sides of my board. I wanted to use something different to tie my string on. So by using these pipe saddle clips which I already got in hand, gave this board a cool feature. So guys, this is how it turned out. But I still wanted to give this a bit of color. So I decided to paint this in grey. Here I'm using black and white chalk paint which I already got in hand that I mixed to get my desired color. Afterwards, I gave this board two generous coats of paint and set it aside to dry. Now my board is all dry, but I still wanted to give this a bit of a distressed look. So I used an 80 grit sandpaper and sanded it till I got my desired look. Afterwards, I wiped it down clean and I prepped it for its next step. Next, I went ahead and cut out this word saying masterpieces which I was going to place on top of my board. But at this stage guys, if you do not have a Cricut maker, you could always use a stencil or you could also draw this onto your board. Afterwards, once my wording was done, next it was time to tie the string on it. Here I'm using some jute twine which I've already got in hand that I thought would go perfectly with my board. It was so simple and easy to do. All I did was loop the string through the bracket and then tied a knot at the end of it. Next, to finish it all up, I used some mini clothes pegs which I've already got in hand that I placed on my string. So guys, this is how my wall art display turned out. I hung it up by using command strips. I love that I have a place for my toddler's drawing now. Hope you guys like it too. Project number two, simple and easy to do poster frame. So guys, this project is so simple and easy to do. All you need is four slates cut out to the length of your poster. Next, I went ahead and used wind nuts along with screws that go with it to form my slates into frames. I got these wind nuts from my local hardware store, but I guess you could get these online as well. Afterwards, I went ahead and placed my wind nuts onto my slates which I stacked into two. Next, I used my ruler and marked it in place. I repeated this marking process on all four corners of my slate. This is how it should look once it's marked. Next, using my painter's tape, I taped two slates together on both corners. I went ahead and repeated this process on both of my slates. Afterwards, I went ahead and chose a drill bit that fits my screws and then I made pilot holes on all of my marked areas. So guys, by me taping my slates together, it was much easier and quicker for me to drill the holes into it. Once I was done with my first pilot hole, I double checked with my screw whether it fits in perfectly. Afterwards, I went ahead and made all of the remaining pilot holes. 
Next, once I was done, I went ahead and peeled off my painter's tape. Next, I took four of my wind nuts and screwed it onto my slates. Afterwards, I went ahead and glued on a picture hanging hook onto the back of my slate using my glue gun. So guys, at this stage, if you do not have a picture hanging hook, you could always skip this process and use command strip to hang your poster on your wall. Now our slates are all ready and it's time to secure our poster onto our slates. Here I'm using a poster which I got from my local thrift shop a couple of days ago. This poster was a little bit too large for my slate, so I had to cut it down to size. Now my poster is all ready and it's time to put this frame together. So guys, before I went ahead and secured my poster onto my slates, I made sure to check the picture hanging hook was on the top end of my poster. Afterwards, I went ahead and stuck double sided tape onto the bottom part of my slates. I repeated this on both slates. Next, I went ahead and peeled it off and then stuck my poster onto my slate. Afterwards, I went ahead and placed both of my top slates on and then screwed in my wind nuts. So guys, this is how my poster frame turned out and it's so beautiful. Hope you guys like it. Project number two, easy to do bottle tags. So guys, to start off this project, I went ahead and cut my slates into the shape of a tag. Afterwards, I used my painter's tape and taped my tags together. After I was done, I used my drill and made a pilot hole on the top end of my tag. Once it's done, it should look something like this. Afterwards, I used chalk paint which I've already got in hand and gave these tags two coats of paint. A couple of hours later, once it was fully dry, I used an 80 grit sandpaper and gave it a bit of a sanding to give it a distressed look. Afterwards, I wiped it down clean and prepared it for its next step. Next, I went ahead and used some jute twine which I've already got in hand to loop through my tags. Now my tags are ready to be named. Using my Cricut Maker, I cut out these signs and I placed them on my tag. At this stage guys, you could stencil any sign on or directly write on your tag. Now my tags are ready to be tied onto my bottles. So guys, this is how my tags turned out and I'm so happy with it. Hope you guys like it.